Go gang, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So this week we actually got a pretty heater week, bro. We got some stuff that's coming out this week that you can definitely, whether it's for personal or you trying to make you some money, you can definitely, definitely get you some profit in. So starting on Wednesday the 10th, we have the Nike Dunk High RXO Unicorn Gundam, all right? Now, these retail for $100, right? And I'm expecting a retail of about $250, all right? So this shoe has a good amount of hype and demand surrounding it, all right? The Japanese anime franchise Gundam has based its unique colorway on the RX-78 2 robot with this look, all right? Now, this Nike SB Dunk will have very big profit margins with a low retail of 110. Right now, it's looking at about $100 right now for the pre-sale market. All sizes will be worth going for and all will be profitable, all right? Due to this shoe being an SB Dunk, though, we can expect it to, we can expect it to be limited, mainly released on sneakers and different skate shops all right so we do have a confirmed sneakers release they're loaded in the sneakers they have a link so they're definitely gonna drop on sneakers this is definitely a good release to go for and make a lot of profit all right thursday we got the retro 13 low singles day all right now these drop on thursday november the 11th for a retail of about 200 dollars. and honestly i've never really seen a 13 low that was hype or had any resale value so these are going to be personal i do know of a raffle i do have a list of raffles for these if you want to get these however these are going to probably once again be a going to have a resale of 180 so these are going to brick you shouldn't have an issue getting these now this pair features a green and black colorway those there's green panels that gro glow in the dark so hey that might add to the value right this might be something that you might want to take a chance on and hold if this is your only option and you know you can get these then try to get you some bigger sizes as bigger sizes also do show to have a little bit more value all right to make the most money that you can try to sell these locally that way you don't have to mess with stock x fees ebay fees all of that stuff all right so now it's about to heat up friday november 12th we have the jordan 2 retro low sp off white all right now now this is the the white and red pair and the blue and black pair all right now they both retail at about 250 and honestly i'm expecting the retail the resale to be somewhere up in the 400s maybe even 500s right now that's where it's at i have a list of places that are doing raffles i joined my discord the link in the description and i'll have that info for you all right now jordan twos here's the thing these are off-white however if you know anything about retros jordan twos don't really really just have that much hype but with these being off-white, then yeah, they're definitely going to have a lot of hype. So if you've ever heard me in the past say no to twos, this is an exception to that rule, all right? On Friday, the 12th, we have the Dunk Low Velvet, all right? Now, they come out in grade school, and they're going to release for $95 retail with a possible resale of, I would say, anywhere between $150 and $190. Now, the color blocking on a shoe like this is definitely going to make it a dope shoe. As far as resale goes, I'm going to suggest that you stick to bigger sizes on these as well. However, this is a grade school shoe, so these are mostly going to be base sizes as far as the bigger sizes, if you get what I'm saying. So, I have a few raffle links on these. These will be releasing on various retail retailers your higher tier retailers are going to get these your undefeated your kits they're definitely going to drop these and i don't see that they're exclusive to one place yet so if that information comes then i will update that's going to bring us to saturday all right we got a big day on saturday so right now we got two yeezys that's supposed to be dropping we have the yeezy knit boot sulfur right and those are based off the the, the sulfur's dropped a month or two or whatever and they retail for 200 and right now the resale on those is looking looking at around about anywhere from depending on the size uh i'd say a median range of about 250 to 300 all right now we also have a we also have raffles as far as where these are coming but and so retail isn't confirmed on these retail says 350 right now but these should end up doing similar to the NSLTD boot, which actually went crazy. I'm expecting these to go crazy. But once again, I will keep you updated on those. So we got the shoe of the week on Saturday, right? And this is the Air Jordan 12 Royalty, all right? Now, why is this shoe so important? I'm gonna give all my people who ask me, how do I know which ones are hype? How do I know what shoes are which? This shoe is similar to the Jordan 12, is similar to the Taxi 12s. The Taxi 12 is probably 
the most identifiable 12, maybe the flu game 12, but those two are definitely the top two 12s, all right? The reason why those retros are held on a higher standard than most retros is because any shoe that Michael Jordan played in, played a whole season in, playoff games, whatever, if he put them on his feet and he wore them in game, I mean, some of the posters in our rooms growing up, he had these on. You know, also Jordan was at the peak of his career when these came out. So with that being said, this shoe right here that's coming out on Saturday, the Air Jordan 12 Royalty is what they're calling them. These are gonna have a retail of 190 and honestly, a resale of about, I would say 250. Now, the reason why they're not just insanely hyped because while they do look like the taxis, they aren't the taxi 12s. They just, you know, have sort of a gold trim on them or whatever. So these are gonna release on sneakers. They're already loaded there. They're gonna release on foot sites and all your major retailers. And when I say foot tights, I mean Foot Locker, Champs, all those different places. So these, these will definitely be, whether it's for personal or to make you some money, these will be where it's at. This is gonna be my shoe of the week, my pick for shoe of the week. So let me know in the comments what y'all think. And also, once again, join my Discord. We've got a bunch of people joining every day, bro, and are using our tactics, using our tips to cop drip, bro. So I ain't gonna hold y'all for too much longer, man. Love y'all out there. Let's get it.